Hey, hey, Steve's over. He's over. And we decided to do a little vlog based upon the dinner we're putting together for Steve. Joe Grummer, by the way, I'm a garment in Garmin Health. Steve Hammerschlagen, one of my oldest, literally, and dearest friends. Not. Nah. So, Steve, what diet are you on? Paleo diet, JG. What is a paleo diet? Paleo diet means we eat like cavemen. And what does a caveman eat? Well, what do you think a caveman ate? What they they eat? Eat? Whatever, 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 whatever ran by and whatever he could drag in. Okay, yes. so in this case, we're talking about protein from types of meats. We're talking about all kinds of vegetables, nuts, etc. Seeds, fruits, nuts, fruits, fruits, but no wheat. Berries. Nothing that's basically farm. That's right. right? We, don't want, we, we want to be there pre-agriculture. Pre and why are you doing this? Because it makes me feel good. And also, it's part of my new exercise right now. Because you're doing CrossFit? Because I'm doing CrossFit. That's a whole other subject, CrossFit. Okay. That's a whole other deal. So what we're going to do here is show a little bit what one example of a meal of a paleo diet looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, Steve's man in the video camera. I want to show you what we're, we're cooking up here. In this iron skillet pan, which is the only pan I think one should use, we've got some tomatoes, or rather, sorry, they're not tomatoes. Not they're, yet. They're white onions and they're green peppers. The steamer's getting heated up because we're going to put some broccoli in the steamer. Into this mix, we're going to put some brown turkey. And then, this is kind of like a, a green fettuccine. This is Steve's favorite. favorite. This is green actually fettuccine. That's sliced, a good way to put it. sliced zucchini. Mm -hmm. And once it gets all cooked up in the tomato sauce, we're going to cheat and not make our own. Once it's mixed up in the tomato sauce and all the uh, turkey stuff over here and all of that, it is like a pasta fettuccine meal. So this is going to be our paleo, paleo, paleo... Pasta. Paleo pasta. Okay. All right. So what Joe did is he lied to you people. <laughs> he said he was going to cook this all in that skillet right there. And I knew when he said it to you that... I needed something bigger. He was lying. Yeah. Well, I don't so, have a huge iron skillet, unfortunately. So, so what this he did, is some kind of aluminum crap. So what he's done is he's transferred the contents that you saw last in here, which was the ground turkey, the onions, and the bell pepper. And he's added to it ground turkey. Uh, we had the ground turkey before. He's added to it the zucchini that you saw before. Right. All right. And tomato sauce. All right. So the zucchini is going to be almost like a fettuccine uh, once exactly. it's all cooked. Exactly. It's going to have, the, it's your gonna pasta. have the, the texture. Right. Of a uh, not an uh, what's the opposite of an al dente pasta? A uh, thoroughly cooked pasta. Swampy pasta. Yes. Okay. Thoroughly cooked pasta. Right. But it will be wheat free. It will be. Right. It will, it will not only not contain any gluten, right. it won't contain any grain whatsoever. Right, so. but we confused people earlier when we talked about this whole wheat pasta over here. This is not what Steve is going to be eating. That's right. Steve's going to be I'm eating. I'm going to be eating. Gonna have, I'm going to have some of that. Steve is going to be going full paleo. Right. And we got some steamed broccoli going here, too. That's right. So, and Steve, so, yeah. while you're like stirring, uh, could you give any more words of wisdom about the benefits of paleo as you perceive it? Well, it doesn't... Uh, you, you leave the table without the same feeling of fullness and, uh, and uh, bloatedness yes, that you would if you had had uh, five pieces of bread and a nice big plate of pasta. Okay? Got it. The problem with that is that, that, uh, that meal is it tends to, it, it puts a lot of stress on your digestive system. So your digestive system when you're having a meal like that, let's, let's say pasta heavy, 15 or 20 minutes afterwards, about 20% of your blood supply is going to be is going to be localized around your your gut, around your stomach, trying to help digest and bring, bringing in the you know the energy and blood sugars necessary just to plain go through the process of digestion. So one of the things that a paleo diet does is it unless you totally stuff yourself. It uh, it will not produce that same feeling of heaviness. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right then. Let's finish cooking. And then then let's eat. Uh, okay. Let's uh, conclude this thing with the paleo toast. What's that? This is what's not going on my meal. Oh, okay. I put that on my meal. Feta cheese. Yes. All right. Cheese. So feta cheese Why? is no good. Yeah. This is dairy. It's dairy. Okay. okay. So dairy, yeah. wheat, rice, grains, starches, things like that. Okay, gotcha. Now, I'm not saying there's anything bad about those things. Yeah, but it's not on the paleo. But it's not on the paleo diet. All right, so look what you have in so the nice bowl. this is a typical paleo diet. All right. Okay. Okay, now what about that wine you have over there? What about that wine I've got? Is that on the paleo diet? Of course it is. Okay. You know, the caveman had wine, didn't they? Well, at least mead. <laughs> mead. <laughs> mead. All right, a toast to you. broccoli, JG? Oh, broccoli. We got the broccoli. Yeah. All right, Steve. Well, bon appetit.
Thank you, and thank you for cooking, Jason. Okay. Thank you for hosting. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody.